Star Trek explains why Harry Kim was never promoted, he's a secret agent. Star Trek has provided the best possible explanation for why Voyager's Harry Kim has never risen above the rank of Ensign it is a cover for his true role as an undercover operative for Starfleet Intelligence, working under the Beta's codename Kingsnake in one of the most apropos additions to Trek Law IDW's ongoing comic book series has made yet. Star Trek Hash 13 written by Colin Kelly and Jackson Lansing, with art by Marcus II, color by Lee Lockridge, and lettering by Clayton Cowles continues to build toward the next major threat to the galaxy, in the wake of the massive God War forward slash Day of Blood crossover event. As Harry noted to Theseus crew member Ensign Sato, the Andorian descendant of Enterprise character Hoshi Sato, many people harbor an inaccurate understanding of what it means to be a lower-ranking member of a Starfleet crew. It's not all cleaning the replicators and pawling around but rather one of the organization's most dangerous roles. Describing his time as a lower-ranking member of the Voyager crew, Harry vented. Although his role as an undercover intelligence agent likely puts him in even more danger, rather than less, it comes with a great deal more inherent respect. Star Trek Hash 13's revelation that Harry Kim is Kingsnake a secret agent operating in highly dangerous territory for Starfleet finally puts to rest the nagging question of why Kim was never officially promoted after Voyager's return from the Delta Quadrant, as was the majority of the crew. Throughout Voyager's seven seasons, Harry proved himself worthy of advancement in the ranks time and again, an honor the series has frequently been called out for not bestowing upon him. Similarly, post-Star Trek, Voyager stories have unutilized the character, with IDW's current comic finally giving Harry his due. Ensign Kim has given everything to Starfleet more than once. Harry Kim understands the perils of Starfleet, especially the lower ranks, more acutely than most. In Star Trek Hash 13, he and longtime friend Tom Paris share a moment of reflection. We survived, hell, I survived Harry says though technically, this is not true. As Trek fans will recall, the Voyager Season 2 episode Deadlock featured a shocking moment in which Harry was sucked out into space through a hull breach, dying horrifically in front of Captain Yanway. Though the episode concluded with a duplicate of Harry taking his place, the original did, in fact, die in the Delta Quadrant. Though the true extent of the existential horror of Harry, Kim's death, has not yet been fully explored in Trek canon, the character's new secret agent hero may finally provide the perfect opportunity. In any case, it has elevated the character to a long overdue position of prominence, which he has long been denied. Further, it readily explains the character's lack of promotion by Starfleet, which has seemed incongruous with his regular courageous actions for some time. Once more, IDW's Star Trek has brought fresh energy to the franchise, taking another beloved character in an exciting new direction.